Hey Steve. Well, here we are in uh, sunny Canada in March. That's my car. Here's my new rig. Okay, first of all, this guy right here. Seems like a normal wah pedal. It is. So if you need normal wah wah stuff, that will happen. It's also good for adding to parts as a notch filter, which I'll show you right now. So it gets really high endy and kind of honky in the middle. It sounds really neat in the middle of a line. Okay, this guy, the Empress Tremolo, is like a normal Tremolo. I'll show you. Let me turn it on. You know, like the old 50s sounding Tremolo, but on this particular model, yay, we can actually adjust the accents of them as well. So if I make it really obvious here, so that's just normal, but I can make it groups of five and seven. Which actually sounds really cool in the middle of a tune, and on top of that, we can tap in the tempo on the fly. So, the lovely people at Blackout Effectors have sent me this called Crystal Dagger. It does two different things. On the right hand side, it has a ring modulator. I've got it tuned to a G note. It sounds kind of lo fi and kind of neat. On the other side of the crystal dagger, this guy is just your standard, you know, Jimi Hendrix style fuzz sort of sounding thing. However, it has this handy dandy little switch here that gives you random octave generation. It's definitely the face melter for a reason. So. One of my favorite new toys, the Eventide Harmonizer Pitch Factor, which, um, okay, as a quick explanation, basically you can manipulate pitch, harmony, uh, delays with pitches in it. I mean, it does a lot of very strange pitch things. And the things that are involved in time, we can tap in tempo if need be. Okay, I'm just going to start with some of the stuff that I, have, I use all the time, uh, my country gigs, oddly enough. Um, here's the dry signal, uh, baritone guitar, 12 string guitar, not the same as a real 12 string but uh, life's rough. This setting is a pitched reverb, in other words, um, it will flatten the reverb trails by however many cents we feel like having it. I'm not sure if it will translate onto video, but you'll get the idea. Really good for ambient stuff. This one is called Crystals, which I use a lot. The uh, delay repeats are up two octaves, and you can... Uh, You hear it a lot of uh, old U2 recordings. So if you want to be really... Next is what I call the Quadravox, which is a four voice uh, all octave thing that you can add overdrive to, of course. is a delay that repeats my delay repeats down an octave at a time. And of course if I tap into tempo I want. The next 
two things are a form of arpeggiation. In other words, we can pick the pitch that it arpeggiates, the speed, the rhythm. We can subtract rhythms. We want rests. And, of course, we can tap it in real time, which is awesome. So here's a kind of a weird one I made. <laughs> This one a lot too. This is an octaver with a weird fuzz thing on it. It's kind of cool to double bass lines with if you have a bass player that's into this kind of stuff. It should be noted that this unit has one of the most ridiculously amazing harmonizer things ever. For instance, I can play one note E and it will do this. So, when you play in time... are fun. What I find interesting about this stuff is that um, in this case it plays a major arpeggio of anything that I play. So if I just play uh, an E note like this, put it on, it gives me that. Now why would that be handy? Well if you write a chord like that couldn't possibly be played on the guitar. So say I wanted to record a one that has an E, a B, and an F sharp triads all glued together, which you could never play. You can actually play. And of course the repeats, uh, we could tell it to do whatever pitches we want, and we can, you know, tap in the tempo faster. come to uh, another section of uh, arpeggiated things. Again, we can change the pitch or the tempo or whatever, but I'm just going to play a bunch in a row really quickly so you can get an idea of what they sound like. Next. Disco action. So I'm playing one note. Does all those pitches. So I'm playing one note and it's taken uh, parts of the rhythm out and created rests. So I'll tap it a little faster so we can. Another arpeggiator. Weird, but might be useful. Okay, that's just weird. That's pretty cool, actually. I dig that. This little guy here is kind of like the uh, brother to uh, the one we just saw, but all it does is delays. Um, you can do just about anything. It's pretty ridiculous. Okay, here's one that I use a lot. Um, it kind of takes the delays and sweeps the EQ in such a way, so this kind of deal. you can add any of these effects together so if I put uh, say a baritone underneath you can do this this is called a rhythm delay so we can actually tell the machine that we want it to play whatever rhythm we want as the delay you hear a lot of this on YouTube recordings so if I just strike the guitar once you get so 
the one I use a fair amount. Um, it takes the repeats and sweeps them into like of a lo-fi kind of sounding a high endy weirdness, but it sounds really cool on stage. <coughs> this is a standard ring modulator, not like the one I showed you before. It just does one thing. It's really obnoxious, but it's a lot of fun. <laughs> And uh, believe it or not, I can play a G major scale and it will play random whatever. You have no control over the pitch really, it's just rhythm and that's it, so. Um, this setting's called Warped Record. What it does basically is it just, it sort of takes the repeats and they come back at a certain time when it's almost like a tape delay when the tape gets all worn out. I don't know if you'll hear it on the video, but. tap that into whatever tempo we want. This is just sort of a standard uh, backwards delay, um, which is kind of fun to play with, I guess. And of course, you can use it in conjunction with anything else. If you want a pitched, a pitched reverb from the other unit and that at the same time, you can... Last but not least, Here's just some sounds that I think are wacky that we might be able to use or something, I don't know. The delays are made into 8-bit old crappy sounding delay at the end. Which is kind of neat. That's really wacky. 